Hello guys and welcome back to another episode here from Berlin. I'm actually at the Checkpoint Charlie and um, so I'm doing a small sightseeing tour with you guys of the main sightseeing spots. We're gonna do the Checkpoint Starley, the Brandenburger Tour on the Holocaust Memorial. So I'm gonna start here with the Checkpoint Charlie. I just, I've seen it like a few years ago when I came the first time, um, when I came the first time to um, Berlin. Like it was actually in school, like probably 15 years ago. And I thought I'd just come back um, to see the main um, sightseeing attraction you should see when you're here in Berlin. So actually behind me you can see um, it says US Army checkpoint and that was actually so we have like a, a picture here and it says here on the sign you are leaving the American sector. So that basically means it was one of the most popular most famous um, border crossing station um, during the Cold War. Guys, if you see like people playing on the ground in Germany, so definitely avoid it. It's like all scam. So um, there's a group of people playing kind of a game and definitely avoid getting involved into these type of things. Um, yeah, so these type of things also exist here in Germany. I'm gonna step away because here are so many people to tell you a bit more about it. I'm actually gonna walk now um, to the Holocaust Memorial. On the way, I'm gonna tell you more about this um, place. So I have to cross the street to walk all the way back. I'm definitely not the best when it comes to like history, history lessons. Um, but I definitely think it's part of my culture and it's part it's my country so I definitely think you guys should know a bit about these uh, most important historical sites. The name actually from the checkpoint Charlie, like the name Charlie comes actually from the NATO um, phonetic alphabet Alpha Bravo Charlie. I actually didn't know that fact myself. Uh, it was built and constructed in 1960s, like I think 1961. It became a scene of confrontation. American and Soviet um, position face each other with weapons. Um, that's what I know because of course on the one side there were the Soviets and on the other side there were the Americans. So I actually just made it to the Berlin Wall. I don't know if you can see it, it's still a bit bright. So it's a remaining of the east of the German Wall. But not only was it an important um, scene during the Cold War, it was also um, it witnessed in so many um, escape attempt. Like people really tried to escape like um, East East Germany, the east part of Berlin. Um, yeah, so I just walked now from the checkpoint Charlie um, to the. It's actually called here. Um, if you just type in Berliner Mauer, um, it's maybe not even a five-minute walk, and you um, reach uh, a remaining part of the Berlin Wall. So there's several parts still left. So one is the East Side Gallery, where. Um, where there's murals like the, the paintings all over but this is close and this is in the city center so you don't have like um, the, the paintings here and I think it's the fort um, how to say that like the fort um, um, version of the Berlin Wall so that means basically because every time when they when someone escaped they try to um, uh, adapt like the wall like to make it more secure make it better so and this is apparently the fort, uh, fort portion of it guys I'm definitely not a historical expert I just did some some research and I just wanted to show you around and um, give you a an insight here of like a small history part of Berlin I'm obviously not from Berlin I'm a tourist myself so uh, you can see here now that rema remaining part. So let's go down and see. They have to offer. So this exhibition is actually um, for free. So I 
can just walk down and read a bit and hopefully I can share with you some more information. So that's actually a picture from the press conference where they announced that there won't be a wall and two months later they started with the wall and here you can see a old picture of the Berlin Wall. So guys, I was just walking along this way, so I went all the way back and walked all the way here, came back this way, so it's like a chronological order where they start at the beginning. Um, so you can learn all about the German history, the Reich and Hitler and everything. And I'm now just walking along the wall. Um, it's so, yeah, such a sad, weird feeling at the same time for me walking along here. Um, I don't really know how to describe it. I'm, I'm getting very emotional after reading all the information about the history and yeah. So, I don't know what to say, I'm, I'm always speechless and can't describe really um, how I feel, so, so I'm just walking by here, this, um, it's called Platz des Volkaufstand, the main square of the, um, it's actually a beautiful mural, it's actually a fabulous work and it's called the Socialist socialist realism and it was East Berlin and it was represented the social life kind of in East Germany. You can see people holding the socialism flags and the woman clapping. Okay, so I'm about to walk to the Holocaust Memorial but I actually have to take a quick break. I need to buy something from a bakery. Okay, I got a Pastry, it's pastry jam. Mm. I need some sugar. Nice. I'm exhausted. <laughs> what do you think? Don't worry, thank you. I can make it the perfect way. So, let's continue our. Uh, So, if in Germany, you should check out the bakeries. It's just amazing and I love my pastries. So I actually paid for this 220. I find it a bit expensive to be honest. For what you get. But I'm starving, I had no other options. So I probably go for dinner later. So I just needed a quick snack. So actually, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna show you something. I think I'm right. To a parking lot. <laughs> Guys, you might think I'm crazy, but it's actually not any parking lot. It's actually where um, the leader of Germany, Hitler, um, had his kind of his uh, office space. I don't know how to say that and his um, bunker in the last month of his death he had his bunker down here and he decided to not do anything not to build anything on it so that not people can come to worship or i think that's the reason for it so yeah so they decided to just leave it here as a parking lot i don't know if they're ever gonna decide to do something with that in the future but basically here under the earth is what was in the past the hitler's bunker so and it was so it's just on the way to the holocaust um memorial and i just gonna head over there now and finish my pastry and this super that's so cool enjoying himself i'm dancing how cool is that? Welcome to Germany or oh, Berlin, you see everything. 
so interesting actually is that it's really located in the middle of the city close to the Brandenburger Tor and um, uh, between that Hitler's bunker and everything and the Potsdamer Platz. I actually have to go around to go inside. I want to show it to you. There you go. It's actually so impressive and so, you know. So the memorial is um, for the murder Jews in Europe and also known as the Holocaust Memorial um, in Berlin and it's designed by Peter Eisenman. I think he's actually an American and what you notice when you walk in like the closer the further you walk in um, the deeper it goes. So basically I'm now continue walking and I'm going deeper and deeper inside and it's all very uh, geometrical like you have always a hole here in this way and it seems like if you go in here with someone you get lost like immediately and now I'm so in and you can see the bricks or blocks are actually more than 2000 blocks here um, on that square and now I'm fully in and you can see to all sides endless ways of nothing and it kind of creates a feeling for me of disorientation and definitely powerless you know and I think this is well the architect really left um, space for um, you know to uh, interpretation of every like for everybody's interpretation um, but you see you get lost very easy um, and I feel kind of you know really small and endless so in maybe my um, interpretation it could be powerless and small and I think this is one of the feelings the architect wanted to create yeah I mean definitely not a place um, I'm just seeing kids playing um, I don't see definitely not a place what you should do here it's a memorial it's yeah emotional place if you ever are in Berlin you should come and visit because of course what happened shouldn't be forgotten and I definitely believe this is a they built an amazing place to showcase this and for people to come and visit and experience it like firsthand so yeah people laughing in the background it's definitely not what the place is for see we're almost getting out again you can also interpret it as um, the further inside you go or maybe the further um, the whole Nazi everything got worse um, and then could also be an idea of how you can interpret that but of course I'm not a history teacher just that the research and my own knowledge what I know about the place so see now we are outside again this place and over here in the background is the Vanden Purga tour and I'm gonna head there in just a minute there you see the TV tower again so I was actually just thinking um, in case you don't know what the Holocaust is so during the Second World War during the time when the Nazis were in power. I think over six million people were killed and died. So, um, because the Nazis believed in like a, a, a neutral race, like the German race, and everything else that wasn't the race um, should be eliminated, and they built like the Holocaust, like the final solution for that, to deport. Deport, deport, I think it's deport, all the Jewish people there 
and I think at the beginning they also um, brought you know disabled people and people of the LGBTQ community there to kill so that's kind of like a short summary of that and because of that um, well we shouldn't forget what happened so and hopefully hopefully these type of things will never happen again in our world so that's why we built these memorials to remember i'm approaching the square of the 18th of march platz is 18 march that's here and here the famous brandenburger tour and it was actually constructed already in 1790 and there in the background you have the ice tag maybe you can head over we haven't been here also in quite a while i think the building is just so impressive and old and then here on the other side that's the Pariser Platz and you see again the tv tower yeah and that over here that I said it's a government building of Germany in Berlin. The Brandenburg Tour. So it's almost 6 p.m. I gonna meet my friend David soon. I think I have enough time to head over to the Reichstag. Check that out to show you. It's not too far. Actually, I totally forgot. It's um, so close. I don't know. It's been so long for me that I've been here. So, yeah. I do like Berlin. I do find it has quite a unique vibe. Like, unique vibe. Um, I think that's happened often with like big cities. I um, definitely feel like Berlin has this special vibe people are very open people are very nice easy going however on the other hand I find it difficult to approach people probably because it's also me and Glenn is usually doing that but also because of the rules oh look this guy playing some what do you call that in English <laughs> there you go not a question for Glenn. It's not here. Anyways, what I wanted to say is that it's definitely what I noticed more like easier in your in Asian countries to approach people and to vlog because we have so many rules here. Like you're not supposed to film. You have to ask for permission. You need to have like a, a general permission, like a certificate or something. So I wanted to do this. Um, walking tour like a um, guided tour and then they told me um, no you can't film here and I was like a bit disappointed because I wanted to show you guys around and with someone that's more knowledgeable than me so I fail <laughs> so yeah so yeah I have to bear with me talking and explaining as much as I can but I hope do my best, do my best. Okay, so I'm here in the Deutsche Bundestag. It's the Reichstag building, that's what it is. German Bundestag opens, okay, opens public 4th of September, 9, 7 p.m. Okay, interesting. Okay, so this is, I think, the entrance and you have to go to some security checkpoints, of course. So I'm not going inside. I've been inside a long time ago and yeah, it's not to my interest to do that again. Actually they have some construction site over there. So but I remember to remember that people like to hang out here and we did the same in the past so yeah everyone probably who visited the building has to take a break. <laughs> not sure. But yeah, that's the building. It's super old and impressive. And they have this um, uh, glass, glass roof over there. And from there you can actually look down and see the people like the 
government people like everyone working so I remember I've been there it's quite impressive so I was just chilling here in the grass for a few minutes and enjoying the sun I just got a text from my friend David so he's coming to get me at the Brandenburger tour so I will meet him there and see what else we're gonna do later on today I'm just on my way to the S-Bahn, the metro station and we have just abroad the Parisian, like the Paris square and we have behind me the Brandenburg tour and we have the TV tower here again and actually the Hotel Adlon. It's actually a really expensive hotel and I think a lot of famous people have stayed there before um, also uh, I think Michael Jackson and he hold, uh, he hold and showed his baby to the world and almost dropped it that's, what I, that's the only thing I know about this hotel but it's apparently really expensive and um, people uh, say it might cost 20,000 per night for a uh, suite for the residential suite so yeah so yeah I'm just chilling here for a few minutes at the uh, Brandenburger tour in the Parisian square it has a lot of people taking pictures of course it's really popular so if you're in Berlin you have to come here and everywhere is making people music so yeah I'm just hanging out here maybe I head over there to a bench sit down for a minute and wait for my friend to see okay I just met David <laughs> And we're gonna head to the oh, new pronunciation. <laughs> we are heading to get a kebab in uh, one of the famous places. It's well known by everyone. Well known. One. So Mustafa. we're gonna we're gonna take the S-Bahn U-Bahn. Mm -hmm. S-Bahn U-Bahn. No U-Bahn actually. U-Bahn because it's only a, a eight minutes walk. So we can. So we can walk. To Uban. Okay, we so to Uban, yeah. we're gonna walk to the yeah, Uban station. Better, so. <laughs> so oh oh my god! Oh. I can't believe this. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for future content.